what's a hot looking city girl like you doing in a country setting like this? <laughs> Can you tell? I'm I know. all dressed up today. Well, I had a presentation today too, but um, yeah, so we have some exciting news to share. Um, you all know I took the cut flower course, right? With the floret um, from January to March. And we've been looking at a little piece of property to buy um, for my cut flowers. Well, a few of them were promising and then we looked at them and they totally were not what they were looking like and the property values are expensive. You mean you didn't want to put those raised beds in, in that trailer park right <laughs> in the middle of the lot 31? No, no. Some, actually some of the land was nice but the background scenery was not pretty at all and it would have probably cost a fortune to make it look presentable and pretty for like filming and showing what we're doing. Um, we would have been picking vegetables and the neighbor's garbage up. <laughs> Pretty much. It was awful. Um, but the real estate agent did a good job of uh, filming that property and photographing it because it sucked me in. I was like, oh, this is amazing. Um, we got there. No, it was not amazing. So I was totally deflated. But I'm like, eh. we started looking around and we found this little gem of a property and we officially closed on it. So we're allowed to share with you that we are gonna have an amazing amount of content and transformations happening because while we're not rich, we did buy a piece of property that is a major fixer upper, but it has so much charm and so much land and so much like, uh, I don't know. I see the wind is already even feeling good. We're here, we're on the property. So to on. make a long story short, <laughs> We bought a farm. Yeah. Woo! I'm yeah. Um, and it's on a slope, which is amazing. Um, it may present some challenges, but it's been neglected for a little bit. Um, has some issues, needs some rehab, but for the price, for what we want to do, I want to transform this entire property, the hillside. It'll give me a place to grow. It'll give me a place to plant for pollinators and natural habitat. Um, we have a pond and we have 20 acres. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm stoked today. And I've been wanting to share this with you guys because I'm so excited. Um, but I had to wait because you never know what could happen with things and lawyers and, and um, you know, property transfers, but it's official and we will be doing some major transformation here. So we're going to film a little bit and just show you around the property. It's not going to really look like much, but if you have an idea of like just what it could be like in my mind, I have just amazing visions. It's so peaceful. It's right off of a parkway, but it's so quiet because there's no trucks allowed on the parkway. So it's like so scenic. The sun comes up and it reflects off the pond and there's wonderful space to grow. So I'm excited. Yeah, um, I finally won't be forced <laughs> to live in a little house on the prairie. No, and this is just one of the little paddocks. Um, it used to be an old like dairy farm, but this is like amazing. It's really overgrown. We have a guy coming to brush hog and clean this the lands up. Um, we have some, you know, the snow took down the lean-to on the small barn, but I'm so excited. This has just been like an amazing, you know, I went from like being deflated, not finding a property to like, holy cow, did we really just buy 20 acres? I mean, this is like my playland. It's going to be like the perfect little pug farm. Oh, I would kill you. What do you mean? No way. Can't you just picture a bunch of pugs running down this hill, like a hundred of them? I, I can picture me living here and you stay with the pugs at, you know, in, in our house. That, that's how we do it. Well, we're going to have a barn pug at least. <laughs> I don't think so. With the barn cat. You, you have to ask the boss and that would be me. Yeah, well. Um, but anyway, you want to see the barn? The barn's so charming. Like, I, I literally fell in love with the barn and so did my husband. He loved the barn. Like, we walked in and we're like, oh, wow. Like, there's something charming even if it needs a lot of renovation there's something so charming about an antique barn this was built in 1894 the big barn um but i can't wait to show you inside it might look like a mess but you'll get what i mean when i say it's charming let's go check it out you might want to watch out i saw a groundhog the size of a rhinoceros yeah, feeling that I'm going to have quite a few things here that I don't have on our property at home. 
Um, I saw a groundhog the size of my car living under the foundation. So we're going to have to have a little chat with that little fuzzy butt. But um, Little fuzzy butt. It's like a huge, hairy hippopotamus. It is. It's huge. You better watch out or your ass will be grass. You know what? Literally. I, I think he's like, he watches us too. Because every so often, like, he'll turn around and he'll just like scurry back into the foundation that's caving in. As you can see, I had to fight off a gang to get the farm, but... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened with those spray painting things, but... Um, but anyway, want to see inside? We're going to go inside already? Yeah, why not? All right. Enter at your own risk. Yes, I know. And look, the wasps are starting to come out. So this... And it's a little messy, but... I mean, we just literally closed today, so it's not like, it's gonna be a major work in progress for the next like five years. Oh uh, yeah, we better get a few <laughs> shop vacs, I think. Um, but the, the biggest issue with the barn is like, there's barn swallows um, and some of the windows upstairs are broken. You know, it's been abandoned. So we have to really clean it out and get the screens up so that the birds don't come in and kind of like take over. There's tons of nests everywhere. Uh, it's like the swallows gave us the bird and a ton of turds. <laughs> Everything in here is everywhere. just, ugh. But look at this, it's just so fun. Like, there's little individual paddocks, you know. Wow, I never so, knew there was a gate there. Yes. How did you not know? Oh, it's that's so cool. cool. Um, it's a little off kilter. But, oh, well, there we go. You just need a little muscle. So anyway, so we can keep, like, animals. We can get animals. We can get chickens, finally. No, oh, no. Oh, yes. That's our attempt in the deal. No, I don't really like real chickens. You like fake ones? Well, no. I don't need to get to know the chickens. No, no. For eggs, not for slaughter. Well, even for eggs, you're going to need a rooster, right? Yeah. So I don't need to crack an egg open and know the rooster that's leaving white spots in the yolks. I just don't. It's, it hits too close to home. Oh, my God. No. Well, you know what? You don't have to. You can just turn a blind eye to that part. Yeah, well. Like, it's a little, like, kind of gross and dark and weird in here. But honestly, there's so much room. It's huge. This is like... How many thousand square feet? It's tons. It's almost so big we like could put a, a room down here for you. Um, this is a, this is where my grow room um, and my lights and maybe my flower storage room is going to go. Um, it's really messy. It's kind of like, but I don't care. I'm so excited about the whole thing. I'm just, whew, but see how there's like nests up there from the birds? Oh my gosh, everywhere. So, and we have a little bit of um, post- something boar or beetle that apparently it's common in barns but it's been neglected so we have to take out and replace some of these barns but we the guy who was going to build our barn at our house um is actually coming here to start renovation on the on the barn so um you know we may have to put our plans on hold at home for the barn and the greenhouse because this is just my entire grow space like it's a playland for me so we're going to kind of I'm going to hijack the plan for our home <laughs> and do it here because why not? Um, Does yeah. this mean I might actually get to see the kitchen table for once oh, in three you, years? If you guys saw the inside of our house, oh my God, I have like thousands of ceilings. So over the last couple of months, we found this place in January and for the, since January and since finishing the course with Florette, I've been growing tons of seeds and vegetables and all that stuff. And our house is literally like a safari jungle, like dirt is everywhere, plants, pots, you name it. It's horrible. But now this can be transformed into like, uh, this will be my, this will be my space for growing. I got attacked by a tiger in the furnace room the other night. A tiger? Yeah. Because it looks like a jungle. You got too many plants growing down there. Ugh, well, actually, Toby, the cat, he could play tiger. Yeah, Toby's afraid to go in there now. <laughs> he, he slips under my lights. He actually goes under the lights because it's warm. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I put I put that door up the other day to kind of keep uh, the, the birds from flying in here. Wow, we have so. shoes and boots. Anyway, this little space has like a drain in the floor. I don't know. This room might turn into our cold storage room for like the flowers and veggies and all. But, you know, oh boy, it needs a little. We need, we need some major cleanup. Major cleanup. Um, and there's vines, like invasive vines climbing everywhere trying to get in and succeeding not fun and we have a little bit of a foundation issue um we have part of the original stone foundation 
that has caved. Oh, uh, that's not bad. <laughs> It's only part of it, but the rest of it's coming out. Look. Nothing a little quick creek can't fix. Uh, they tried. I think this was a big patch job. But anyway, so the, the barn, the guy that we have that's going to, um, that builds the antique barns and takes them down, he's going to come here and start securing the barn, and we are redoing the foundation. We're, we're investing some moolah in this barn to rehab it, because I want to show you upstairs. It's amazing. Uh, all me. right, we're going to go this way? Sure. Okay. Look at all this space. Oh my God. We might need a new set of stairs too. These these are a little bit, uh, they'll probably last for another hundred years, but I want it to be somewhat like renovated. Oh, I just want you to film the bar so they know. Just, just look at this place. Like it's insane. And if people who have old barns or farmers are going to be like, oh yeah, it's a barn. But you know what? It's amazing. I, I love the charm. I love the look of this. It's so wide open. Like I can post workshops here. Um, I could have a little farm stand here. I could just do, I don't know. I'm just going to feel amazing here. Although I know it's going to be tiring and a ton of work. I just, I'm okay with the hard work as long as I get the joy and the reward out of it. And it's just so beautiful. It also has a lot of problems. We have a hole in the roof <laughs> um, that we have to fix that has kind of rotted through the floor um, because it hasn't been um, fixed or covered. So we've had a little bit of water damage on that side. But look at this, is this not charming? Film, film the ceiling, even the ceiling is amazing. The best thing is you can't yell at me when I leave the door open. Ah, oh, that's true. That is true. Hey, you want to roll in the hay over there? <laughs> Ew, I don't know about that hay. No. That, that hay been here a long time. Um, yeah, so this is, and then look, it's just so cool. Can you see the pond through the screen? Or? I don't know, probably not. No, probably no, not. No, I don't believe so. Well, we'll show you from the other side and from the road, but anyway. So what are so your this? plans for this oh. huge space? I don't even know. I can tell you what I want to do outside because I could just already picture this being amazing. In here, I think it really depends on one, budget, um, and two, you know, once it's cleaned out and secure, I think that's the main thing. The main priority now is to get some of these holes that are, um, you know, broken and um, the wood that's kind of letting all of the birds in. We have to get all that fixed, but I think once it's all cleaned out and fixed up and secured, I have, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. I would love to do um, native poll pollinator habitat on this hillside um, and then be able to have people come here and see it in real life um, for locals, especially, uh, so that they can start adding native habitat to their properties. And, and maybe do it on a smaller scale, but just see what the plants look like and how they interact and to see the activity. Because if you have, if you're planting for pollinators, you should definitely see the increase every year. So now that we have like two acres to like dedicate to a hillside of native, native habitat, I can't wait to get started. I've already been in touch with a few research groups um, and design groups so that I can get, you know, plant lists and just do it really well and think it out, you know, properly and, um, they also have programs that will help you cost share, you know, installing the habitat. So I'm hoping to, hoping to get a little help in that regard, but we'll see. I am excited to just get this, like, to be a functioning farm that's just, I don't know. Yeah. This let, will thrill me. Let's hope so. <laughs> because when old McDonald had a farm, he said E-I-E-I-O. I said E-I-E-I-O. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought you were going to say E-I-E-I-No. No, no. I owe a lot of money. Yes, well, well, old farms, though, are definitely money pits. I mean, that's just the way it goes. You know, this floor needs to be redone. There's a lot of clean out that needs to happen. The barn doors need some refinishing. They're kind of molding into the hill because it's settling because of the foundation caving in. So, you know, it, it needs some work, but we're just excited to, like, share this whole, like, the future of Guiding Green Thumbs now has a home and now has like an option to sort of expand and hopefully I can make this into something that I support myself on and that I can share my education and my knowledge and my workshop and just like to better um, 
I don't know, just to better educate everyone about how we should be like planting our own joy and, and helping the whole Mother Earth, um, you know, and our natives and our pollinators. We really should just be kind of focusing a little bit in that regard, but you can still have your pretty stuff and you should because planting and gardening is such therapy for so many people like me. And now I have a huge place to do it. Yes, <laughs> I have a place to send you to. Yes, oh, and I will happily go. Yes. The bigger picture of the property. Where should we go? Should we go to the other side? Um, let's go around this side, the back, and then right. we'll come up around. So can you see the pond now, way over there? I, you know, I think they can. It's hard for me to see it on this little screen. Yeah. Yeah, awful lot of divots here. Yeah. Place is going to need a paint job. You're going to have to Good figure thing, that in. Good thing I know a painter. Yeah, I'm buzzy. <laughs> so what do you plan on doing like here? Are you just going to have like a walkway? I think this is going to be where ultimately like the little greenhouse where I grow my seedlings so I can come out the door from the grow room and just bring everything out here. So I have to, I have to figure that out. I don't know. That could be a problem with the roof, though. With the water and stuff. Well, well we yeah. We have gutters, though. Yeah, but in the winter, the snow will come down. Yeah, but I think there's these little spiky things that go up. I talked to John Reddy. He said there's these spiky things that can go on the roof at the bottom to like hold it from sliding off and. Whoosh. So I don't know. We we'll we'll figure all that out, but um, it would be helpful to have a, you know, somewhat of an accessible grow room outside like a, a high tunnel or a greenhouse here so that I can bring all the seedlings that I start out here or we could have a heated one where I can just start all my seedlings outside but that's getting pricey so <laughs> I'll have to make sure we can we can secure the barn first this is another little barn this is the cutest little barn ever it's a little leaning but we'll have to fix that too well come in it's cute and it's huge it's two stories so this is, show up there. It's always fun to show up near the roof. I love the roof. Is it? Look. And then a bat craps on my lens? I don't Maybe. believe so. Maybe. It doesn't look like much is living in here. But it does look like it needs a lot of help. This one is kind of... This is going to be the storage barn. This might be the chicken barn. And then we have a massive silo that's been taken over by invasive vine. Um, we're going to get to cleaning that this week. But the silo is in great shape. Like considering. So what can we do with the silo? Can I like make a pad in there or something? I don't know. I know people who have like renovated silos, but it's really like it's all hollow. Can you can you show them what it looks like inside? Yes, but I have to go over here. I don't know how well this is gonna turn out, but this is kind of what it looks like inside the silo. So it does have some possibilities, I guess. I guess we could lock the kids in there. Oh, if anything, it could be the kid cage. Yeah, actually they could have a little playhouse in there. Something. You know, something, I don't know how hot it gets. I really know nothing about farms, to be honest, or like barns or silos, but we have a lot of good resources and professionals that can help us. And I'm sure we're gonna learn a lot of lessons this year. I may, I may plant everything up this year and then like 4,000 groundhogs come eat it all. Who knows? But you guys will know. I have about three weeks of just cutting trees. I know. I know. But look at this. Turn around. See, this is so, this is what's fun about this property. It like, it kind of drops off here at the fence line. There's a whole nother paddock here. Like we can have little baby goats. We can have little pigs, little pot belly pigs. But we can't have pugs. Uh. No, at least the pigs are going to be like it's somewhat. Jax is pretty much Jax a pot-bellied pig. pig. He, he pretty much is. But I he think he's related in a way. I don't know. But anyway, it's just so pretty. It's like so scenic here. I think that's what I love the most is that one, we could afford the property um, thanks to the sellers coming down almost half price. Um, and our barn guy, our barn guy was yeah. determined to keep us at a certain price. And yeah, and we were like, we were willing to pay like literally 75,000 more for this than we did. Um, and because it's only barns and there's no houses, you can't get a mortgage for this. So you have to like, 
you know, you have to finagle yourself to be in a position to one, not only purchase the property, but also renovate it because obviously it's in a little bit of a disrepair. So we were like, oh, can we swing this? Can we swing it? Um, and we did. We swung it. We're swinging. We're swinging far. <laughs> it just felt like it was meant to be. You know, everything lined up. We sold a rental property. We yep. had the money sitting there waiting for the new barn. Yeah. And to be honest, a couple months before we purchased this barn, I worked right across the street up on a house up there. And every day I would drive past this barn. And I literally said, someday <laughs> when I get rich, I'm gonna buy that barn and, for and my wife. everyone knows this farm. Like everyone local, you tell them where it is and they all know it. It's such an, it's almost iconic, this, this farm. Um, so I'm excited to take this freaking abandoned, neglected land and just start getting it where it's green and lush and usable and profitable um, at some point, maybe five years down the road. <laughs> and my daylilies, <gasps> can you imagine? All my daylilies are gonna have like full sun. There's no trees here. I'm gonna probably hate that at some point and I need to put some shade trees in, but um, there's full sun, which means I'm going to have like amazing growth and... And I'm gonna have amazing trees at my house. Yes, and I will leave your trees alone. Even though we just cut all of them down for the well, barn. No, yeah, but a lot of those were really not in good shape anyway. Uh, oh, please. And they probably would have been taken down by the snowstorm we had that just everything, just all the branches fell. We had so much cleanup from that storm. I know, we put a down payment on this place. That's how we lost the lean-to on that other barn there that fell off. Yeah. We, we put a down payment on the place, and three weeks later, we get the monster snowstorm we of a did. decade. We did. We got like 20 inches. Here was probably more. And we had COVID. Yep. And we're sitting here worried that the barn's going to collapse and we're going to be stuck. I know. I know. It, was horrible. it just it seemed was too bad. good to be true, and yeah, it felt like something was like, going to happen. Right, maybe all of these things are like signs that things this is not going to happen. And we weren't even sure. It would almost felt too good to be true. So we were like, we can't really announce anything until it happens because... You know, does stuff like this usually happen to people like us? No, but we're making it happen and I'm just, it's so exciting. And, and we're lucky. We doesn't. have a lot of connections too for yeah. people that can, you know, we already, we had so many people that came and looked at this barn for us and, you we're know. surprised at what we got it for. But honestly, we are going to be sinking some moolah into it. But we? What, what? You. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so for all the people, all the haters of my husband, he just bought me a farm. <laughs> So I did it I just to get her out of the house. Yes, well, that's There good. is an ulterior motive, no, folks. No, he wants to do this, too. Don't let him fool you. He's excited about this. No, you know what? Honey, you're, like, contained at our house. You yeah. know what I mean? Now I just set you, you just free. Took, you just took the lid off. I'm yes. fine now. But anyway, look at this beautiful barn. You know, it needs, it needs some roof work. It, it needs a lot of work. But how gorgeous is this? When I open up the barn doors and I have a little farm stand or... Whatever we do, I don't even know what's gonna happen here, but in my head, you know, I'm already like, I'm already in the lap of luxury and, and picking vegetables and putting flowers on my table and teaching people how to do stuff. And you know, I don't know how long it's gonna be before that happens, but it's exciting. Well, that's the best part, honey. And you know what? Uh, I'm not just investing in a farm, I'm investing in you. Yes. Because yeah. I know you can do it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Hoo, but hoo, hoo. Yes, thank you. You are my biggest fan well, and biggest supporter. Watch we've out, come, we've come home. a long way from me busting on you in the gardens to where we you are today. You, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. This has been, you know what? It's been a nice journey for me to like jump into something that's so that feels so good for me and my soul. And then to know that you're like on board with it. And even as much as we crack on each other about the work involved, it's so satisfying. Otherwise, he wouldn't tolerate it. Why would he? He didn't have to. Well, I always have you're fun with you. Yeah, you know, you have to have fun. You yeah. can't, you can't, everybody's uptight. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing how many people hate me on Facebook. <laughs> from, a, from a 60 second reel. But, but again, they don't know. Once, once they start watching and understand how we go back and forth and it just, whatever, it is what it is. Like, oh, that relationship's doomed. It's like, honey, we've been together for 13 years. We're, it's okay. We, we can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy, the reactions. but It is um, funny. It just goes to show you how, how easy it is to manipulate people with video. Because yeah. I get it. It was a bad editing job. And you know what? 
uh, we probably are a little much to take, especially me condensed in like a minute 50 yeah. seconds. Yeah. yeah. You, you definitely, people hear your voice and they're like, oh God, not this guy again. Yeah. But if they had any idea how funny and how like emotionally you you are, like just emotionally connected to things and just how much of a genuine person you are. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't start giving away. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I got a reputation to I keep would, up here. I would not have married you if you were not all of these amazing things combined into a guy. Well, you forgot good looking. Oh, and good looking. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, was. Yeah, but you know what? After 13 years, we don't really like, that doesn't really have, like, you don't really think about that stuff. We've been together so long that it's like, you don't really think about that stuff anymore. It's Especially when I take my shirt off, you don't really think about it. Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> you think about turning the light off really fast. Oh, really? You have to do that to me? What? But anyway. But I'm so something. white that it just glows anyway. Yeah, so. you do glow in the dark. Yes. As do I sometimes. But I'll tell you what, working in the sun here, who going to need some protection, I think. Well, all I can say is I'm happy, I'm proud, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you turn this into, like, one of the most beautiful flower farms I, I can't in wait. New York State. I can't wait. Oh, well, that's really pushing it. I mean, in, maybe... Oh, please, yeah. it's New York State. Yeah, uh, I know, but New York State's huge, and they have a lot of beautiful... Where farms. are you going? I'm going to walk We're over. We're going to walk the property, too? I'm going to walk the road, but I want to see, because I want people to see how you kind of look... You can overlook this. That's what's going to make it gorgeous. Well, that's the best part is the fact that anybody that drives up this parkway is going to have a hard time driving past here. You know what's going to happen? Every Friday afternoon when all the New Yorkers come up, yes. my ears are going to start ringing because all of the women's husbands are going to be like, Oh my God, i got to spend another $35 on bouquets. <laughs> I know what's yeah. going to happen. You know what? You're not going to be able to, like, not look at the gorgeousness. Like, I just love this. I love the fact that it's sloping. Like, our house is sloping and our gardens, like, the way that you can view our gardens at home, it's amazing. It was almost like a prelude to this. So now, I mean, I'm going to do rows and rows. I can't even imagine. I'm going to go way over there on the parkway and take pictures this way. I'd love to get drone footage. <gasps> can we invest in a drone for this property? Uh, last time I invested in a drone, uh, I crashed it. You did? Yeah. Immediately. Huh? Yeah, that's why you never saw the video. It didn't get off the ground. This was before you, honey. Oh, God. I, I think you're making it up. Might have got shot down. No, I think you're making it up. I was flying it well, and then something happened. Oh, you're right. There is a culvert. Wow, yeah, and it looks like, uh, yeah, we had a tree fall down on the fence yeah. over there. We had some, uh, anyway, lots of cleanup work, but, so stay tuned. This is going to be... Uh, it's going to be exciting and we're always going to be here working on it. So we'll hopefully we'll be able to show you the transformation and of course, keep up on our property at home um, and show you some things there. Cause you know, I'm not going to stop plant shopping. How are we going to do all this? Uh, I don't know. Some help. Maybe some are help. we hiring like well, I people? Do have, I do have my niece, Maddie, who's going to be helping me this season. So I'm certainly happy to have her. Uh, she helped me last season on some things. So She's learning and she loves it. She loves to be outside. She loves to learn planting. She's like, she gets excited about things. So I'm hoping that it, it kind of instills a little bit of like love for this kind of thing in her. I have kids who are old enough. Can't underestimate Blake. He's 11. He's the same size as me now. So he can do a lot that I can do. Boy, that kid's going to have some serious chores down <laughs> here. Well, you know what? We might need a tractor for him to like brush hog and mow. Trust you might me. have to give him an allowance. Yeah, I will. I might pay him. I'm going to pay him. So how do you want to end this? You want me to sing Green Acres? No. Green Acres no. is the place. No. Really? You had to do that? Well. You wrecked the whole video. I did not. Terrible. Terrible. No. Anyway, stay tuned. It's going to be amazing.